Hey there, Facebook. Welcome to the Twin Cities Real Estate Show. Today, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of working with uh, real estate teams and the different types of teams. Um, and there's, we're also going to talk about, you know, the, the individual agents out there as well and the services that, that they can provide and, and some of the benefits you may find with that as well. But since uh, I have a team that I participate in and Joe is the same way that we figured we would talk about teams a little bit. <laughs> Good thing to talk. Makes so, sense. Yeah. All right. So make sure you stick around for the after show uh, where we might dive into some additional stuff. Uh, but let's let's get started. Are you thinking about buying or selling a house or just want to know what might be going on with one of your biggest investments? Then come hang out with us for a little while. Hi, I'm Kirk Duckwell and welcome to the Twin Cities Real Estate Show sponsored by Bricks Real Estate Network Title. Eric Bloomstrad and Chad Preby with Bell Bank Mortgage and James Tolson with Country Financial. If you have any questions for us, you can give us a call 651-303-0019. Again, 651-303-0019. Always happy to help answer any of your real estate questions or assist with your real estate needs. Make sure you check us out online as well at BricksTwinCities.com for the latest and greatest home searching and researching tools. We just did a big upgrade to our site, so uh, even more info and better search uh, options there. You can also download our publications. We talk about this, you know, quite, pretty, a, bit. Per, quite a bit. <laughs> well, and, and you know, it, it's they're great. They are. They are great books to get you ready, whether it is your first time buying or second time buying. These books were put together by agents who've done this, you know, cumulatively thousands of times. There's there's a difference between buying four homes versus buying thousands of yes. homes and assisting in that process. There's a lot of nuances that you pick up on that will benefit you as a buyer. And the same is true as for sellers. So we have the smart, uh, uh smart buyer book, the smart seller book. Um, and that is, again, isn't there another one coming out sometime soon. <sighs> one of these days I have, I have three in the works right. and I'm just jumping around. I wow. have the smart investor, Ooh. the smart homeowner. I love the smart homeowner. Yep. And then the smart agent. So, yeah, uh, I'll get to them. I'm, <laughs> Deal. <laughs> I think, th uh, yeah, I, I hope to finish up Smart Agent and Smart Homeowner this year. That'd be think, good. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, well, let's dive into the topic today, which is the pros and cons of working with a real estate team. Now, the team model is something that has been around for, for a very long time, but it tended to be, you know, just a couple of agents that might work together. Right. Or an agent that has, a, a, you know, a showing agent and a preferred lender and a preferred title company and they work closely together. And that's kind of their little their their team. You know, yeah. team teams have really been a big thing that we've seen uh, just so much more of. Yeah. In the real estate. Wow. community. Yeah. It, it has. Uh, maybe five fold, if not more, since I've gotten in oh, of man, yeah. of. Um, yeah, these teams. What, what, what's interesting is that some of the biggest ones are, are have had some real tough couple of years here. Yeah. The last couple of years, d depending on how it's, it's it's run. Right. Right. You know. Um, what, what would cause some of the troubles? You think? I mean, you get too big where you don't have that. Well, I think that's it. I mean, let's dive into some of those those cons, right? Yeah. That that I think. It is is growing so fast with the goal of money, 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 right, mm -hmm. and not service, service, service. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, not, it's it's the the lack of personal connection can definitely definitely be an issue. Right. Yeah, and then when you go that route, um, I mean, Chad, you've even mentioned to me numerous times agents that you know that have been parts of these teams that get frustrated with them either cutting them short on pay or or knowledge or just not you know giving them the tools that they need to be successful yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, excuse me but yeah you do see it i've seen it where you know they start these power teams yep and you hire you know uh, 
half a dozen of uh, not so experienced agents. You know, they're trying to start their career, but they, they jump into a team environment that has no training or very limited training. And these are people out showing you houses, um, trying to give you advice on something they don't really know a lot about, right. which ultimately makes your experience horrible, yeah. right? And then all of a sudden, you're looking at 30, 40 homes, uh, possibly not finding the right one for you because Losing you're losing out you're on all of them because yeah. you're not writing a good offer. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and that's that again. That's the money-driven team. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, I think uh, you know me, and I, I love analogies. <laughs> if you listen to the show, you know that. Right. But I mean, think about it with any company, any business that you get that you know if. if you take retail, for example, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. you get that that super huge place. You're not going to get the best of service. Right. You know, mm-hmm. maybe right. maybe they're, they're gimmicky, you know, but they're mm-hmm. not they're not providing you quality. Right. right? Yep. And, you know, then you look at your midsize retail uh, and, uh, you know, a little better. They're taking a little more time, a little more pride. Right. But then you go to the you know, the little place, and maybe you get the best of service in the world, you know, but they're not always open, <laughs> you know, the limited hours, right. or, or 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 or, or yeah. um, you know, lim- they might not have what you want. So you know, the same is true as as you pick the people that you're going to work with with the one of the biggest tran- transactions you're going to make. Yeah. That a, that a little size can be beneficial. Yeah. I mean, you know, most agents out there do have an aspect of a team, whether they are an individual agent or not. Yeah. They've got a title company that they work with. They've got, you know, a, a preferred lender that they work with. That can be considered a small team as well. It's, yeah. it's really yeah. what people are looking for, how that agent is presenting themselves with it, that essentially we are all a team in one aspect or another. Y- yeah, right? and well, and... and uh, most, what I would say, good individual agents have somebody they can go to to assist right. with showings right. if they're out of town. Yes. But I will say I've run into a good handful of agents that don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you true. know, I'll, I'll get a phone call. Hey, Can you show my client this property? Well, well <laughs> honestly, I'd respect that more yeah. if I got a call from the agent. Can you show the property? Right. No, what I don't like is I can't reach my agent. He's out of town oh, on yeah. vacation. Can you show me this yeah, house? That's tough. Dude, that's and then, like, they didn't give you a phone number or anything? That, that's just not good representation, basically. <laughs> no. Right. No. No. Um, so, you know, another problem with these big teams is just not knowing who you're working with, right? Yeah. You see, you see the billboards or the signs, and you think you're going to be working with that person. You're probably never going to meet them. Right. 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 Gosh, I had a transaction where, um, <clears throat> you know, on the, on the loan uh, origination side, I called in for a status update, and I actually got in touch with a call center. So this particular <laughs> agent or team had a call center to field their calls, and and me uh, in the business, I was confused. Yeah. You know, because I've got transferred around three or four times before I got my answer. So I can't imagine being a consumer on that end, uh, yeah. calling into a call center. I would want my point of contact. One person that I know I can call that is going to answer the question for me, whether the team is then going to figure it out for you. Right. But having that one individual point of contact, it seems like it's very, very important. Very. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it going to the analogy again, you know, if you bring your car into the shop, you meet with that person or the, the, the sales or not sales service professional who is mm-hmm. your point of contact. Right. 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 They're telling you about everything that's going on, when it's going to be done, how, you mm-hmm. know, how long it's going to or how much it's going to cost, mm-hmm. you know, what what's been done so far. Right? right. You don't need to meet the mechanic necessarily. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Very There's true. a lot of moving parts. Um, but you've you got to have that. You can't be just thrown around. You got to know that the job's getting done and getting done right. 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 right? You um, mentioned a good thing, Joe, is the different structures, right? It doesn't have to be necessarily all agents. Totally. It could be your title company is part of your team or your loan officer or, or your home transaction, stage coordinator. transaction coordinators, you know, but all it, of that. But at least you're communicating those expectations to your client yeah. that you may not always talk to me, but yep. so-and-so, my transaction coordinator, is just as knowledgeable. And be right. able to help well, and, and honestly, like, you know, Y- Joe, you have a bigger team than I do, mm-hmm. right? You know, more, uh, more agents. Um, but so you know, I have a, a, a one full time, one part time agent, and then a, a full time transaction coordinator, and then mm-hmm. myself, right? But I know, like, even when I didn't have the couple of other agents that 
you know, I could have somebody could call Chad and, right. and ask maybe some of the questions, yeah, right? Definitely. And vice versa. Yeah. If they had a question and I was on the phone with them, I could answer some of the questions that they might have had for right. you as well. And so I think, you know, having those those assets available, yeah. an agent that has that in place yeah, is going to benefit the consumer. Right. That's the bottom line. It is. Right? Yeah. yeah, it really is. I mean, getting that better service, basically. Right. Right. Um, yeah, to know you have somebody that you can go to um, when you need to, because mm -hmm. re real estate isn't Monday through Friday, nine to five. It's uh, <laughs> sometimes I wish it was, but <laughs> <laughs> Co well, commercial real estate. Yeah, that's what totally, I keep yeah, yeah, people yeah. keep telling those, me. Those guys don't answer their phones. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, and um, we're gonna get into some of the 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 positives, uh, the big time benefits. Um, but yeah, I think that it kind of recap here that that you want to make sure that you're not working with a, a group that's so big that they, they aren't providing that personal service, that, that it's just, you know, kind of gimmicky, trying to catch you in, uh, yeah, call center, right, getting right. passed off from one to the other, not knowledgeable people. Those are really the, the, the cons of a team in a sense. Right. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we'll be right back. Ready? Ready. <coughs> okay. Here we go. You're listening to the Twin Cities Real Estate Show on AM 950. Today, we've been talking about the pros and cons of working with a real estate team, maybe versus just a, an individual agent. And, and don't get me wrong, by, by no means are we knocking individual agents because they, they can provide some, uh, some of the best service in a sense. Seriously, um, absolutely. And there are lots of great ones. And, and some of the best agents I know are individual agents. Yeah. I, well, I would say some of the best, it's, it's almost that, that micro team yeah. I mean, look to it. It seems that a lot of the really great agents have now decided to build their own team. You yeah. Know? A li you know, maybe it's small, maybe it's just totally. one other agent that's also a veteran agent. I mean, you or go to a certain point and you need help. Yeah. It, it just really is. Like, yeah. I couldn't do what I do today without my team. Well, and there's it personal sanity, too. Exactly. <laughs> right. You actually have I a life outside mind. of real estate, right. right? Yeah, I would lose my mind and my wife, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think, I think um, you know, I think y you look at, Somebody like uh, Don, who I use for my transaction coordina coordination, 20 years in the business, knowing the contracts yep. back and forth, right? right? Yes. D I don't have that amount of knowledge, you know, <laughs> in, in, those in, in that, right? <laughs> totally. Right? So why not hire somebody that right. does? Yes, yeah. and that's what it's all right? about. But you know where I have the knowledge is in, in the negotiation, right. the field, yep, right? right. The, in, in a sense, the the marketing, right? Here, so good analogy for you, Kirk. It's like going to the dentist. When you go to the dentist, you walk in the door. The dentist isn't the one that, you know, receives you at the door, right. And fills out your paperwork or takes your X-rays. The dentist does the dentist work. They have assistance. They have help to right. get you to the point of where you need to be, basically. Yeah. Well, to I to, like to then to that really I like that. That's a very Thank good you. good. <laughs> Very good analogy nice. there. <laughs> well, too, I mean, in, in this market today, you guys, you know, I mean, it's so fast moving. And if you have so many things going on, you might lose out on that service aspect, right? Right. right. Not, that well, you, not that you want to, but you just you have to because you can't handle everything at one time. Yeah. Well, and I hate to be a dream killer in a sense, but no, your agent isn't just working with you, right? <laughs> right? If, they, if that was the case... They probably don't have much experience, right? right? right. They right. don't make much money, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, th and and you know you want your agent to be making money. You want them that because if they're making money, that means they're out there. They're closing they're, properties. They're, they're, they're successful. They're successful. Yeah, they exactly. know what they're doing, right? right? right. Uh, yeah. If 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 they uh, learned how to win, right? Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There and you know it's yeah yeah you. 
you know, I might as well just end the show with your dentist <laughs> analogy there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> well, you got to figure if, if every transaction's easy, right? And if you if you don't have to look for advice, I do all the time, and I've been doing this a long time. But if you're and, and I have a business partner that I go to for advice all the time because things are ultimately always changing, right? But right. if you're a, a you know if you're a, a sole agent or loan officer or whatever, and and you know you're not doing a ton of transactions, you're missing out on those changes or different ways to angle or well and um, that's you that's know. a huge benefit of a team is the collaboration right. of it and yes. getting other people's viewpoints and you know every it's one of the things that I love about real estate is every single transaction is different right there's always there's always something different that happens in it and you learn from every single one of those experiences exactly and one of my other agents maybe has experienced something that I haven't and it's great to be able to bounce ideas off of them. They bounce ideas off of us. Yes. It's yeah, the collaboration is absolutely amazing. That's what keeps us coming back. Totally. I mean, I think that's part of our personality, right? Yeah. Is, you know, if we sat there behind a computer every day, day and did the same thing, we no, probably I wouldn't. I would go doing. nuts. Yeah, right. I would definitely go nuts. No, yeah. So I, yeah, it, the, the the changes is what it what makes it fun, mm -hmm. right? right. Um, to, to to how how are we going to handle this situation? How right. are we going to work through that yeah, we're, right. we're always better as a team than an individual i know i am better as a team than an individual oh absolutely my team on that lifts train. me up to do the things that i can do basically well i mean right. and, and i mean in a sense the individual agents we have at bricks it's almost like we're just one big team and in a sense because of like i is, get people that reach out to me and i reach out to them all the time hey that is the reason that i am at bricks is the team environment that is here with all the agents it mm -hmm. is a mass mass amount of collaboration that takes place right. and it's something that you know, we've had newer agents or agents come in from other brokerages and experience it, and they're just like, this is unbelievable. Yeah. It, it doesn't happen at other brokerages. People are very holding everything they know tight to their chest, not wanting to give away any of their secrets. We share with each other. Right. It is unbelievable. It is every individual agent at Bricks is essentially on a team in that sense. They, yeah. They get. The, I almost feel like I have two us. teams. I have totally. my, my little, my house geeks, 100%. and then I have my Bricks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point, though. I mean, we at, at the company I work for, Bell Mortgage, we, we say happy employees, happy customers. Because yep. if you're happy going to work and you enjoy working with your clients, I mean, that's just a direct reflection on you and, and yes. the service you pass on. 100%. But a lot of that has to do with that, that uh, big word called trust, yep. right? You know, once you build that team, you all trust each other mm -hmm. and rely on each other for situations like if you go out of town, let's mm -hmm. say, and you have a busy month going. Right. You know, you're in a situation where you can't answer your phone. Yeah. Having you people trust that your you trust. Team, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I know I was I'm just out of town. Again. I was just out of town a couple of weeks ago and needed a little help on some showings, get people in the door because that's what we need to do. How for dare our you have a life. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> Caught some nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, I was able to reach out and, and get help from you know, three other agents yep. here and they made, made it happen. You know, and I think that's something that, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing at bricks and it's a good thing, you know, again, going back to the positive of having a team, somebody that can cover if you happen to be outside, out of town, right? out of town or just working with other clients. The, yeah. the way things are happening right now, especially with COVID and not allowing overlap. Oh my goodness. Oh, gosh, it's, yeah. you know, you need the, the moment that property gets listed, whether it's active or coming soon, you need to be booking your showing because if it is a very desirable property, there is not going to be any showing periods, any showing gaps left for you to even see the home. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, that goes back, you know, um, I think it's, it's good for agents to set expectations too, letting their clients know if you see a house that you like, say you want to see it Jump right away, it. Yeah, right? No, because right away. because you might not get the opportunity to get in. Yes, right. And so, um, you know, another thing where I see a big advantage to, to teams is the ability to provide additional marketing at a faster pace than an individual agent might be able to pull it off. Yes. That you're going to have some agents that have a little extra time on their hands and they want to go do an open house. They want to get out and go door knocking in your neighborhood to Drop try to flyers, yeah. get the flyers, get the information out because you hear all the people complain about the nosy neighbors. Well, guess what? The nosy neighbors are the ones who spread the word. Totally. Right? <laughs> they back when point. back when I got my uh, license, um 
oh my goodness, the amount of homes that I found out it was somehow related to a neighbor telling a coworker or a neighbor telling a relative or right. something like that uh, about the property uh, led to the sale. Uh, it's important. So get, you know, getting, getting that the agents out there doing those open houses and yeah, you can do open houses these days if, if the property's still on the market. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. you know, that's something else too, that I have, you know, experienced and a lot more recently too, with having a team is, you know, connecting clients with the right agent, personality types with personality types. Oh, 100%. I, I am not the right agent for everybody for what my personality is. Right. But somebody on my team may be. Right. And I can, you know, help to a little bit more individualize that service by putting them with the right person. Right. That's you know, huge. Yep. You know. Yeah. Some people, yeah, there's a the variety of personalities totally. you, yeah, you meet. We've got a good variety. We've got some <laughs> that, unique folks. Yeah. Well, that's important because yeah. not everybody's the same. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, they may look at your picture on your website and say, oh, I like that person. But when they talk to you, they're like, not a bad person, right. but yeah. we're not seeing eye to eye on, you know, my property type or, right. you know. My online photos don't show me heavily tattooed, basically. <laughs> some clients, it's still, they don't like that. So sure. they may work with one of my other agents and maybe they don't see me, you know. Yeah. So, hey, I was going to say you should show better. them more. <laughs> <laughs> Even with, you know, the, the, the houses on the market, you know, some of these agents' cameras, right? I'm kind of yeah. getting off point here, but. Oh, yeah. You know, totally. you get to the house, what you see online is like, wow, that's it. You know, you get to the house and it's. Well, with the la last <laughs> minute to go here before, before we wrap up, I think, you know, what's important is if you're going to be working with a team, you know, when you start that connection point, okay, how experienced, what, what, what is the experience uh, for the people who are going to be showing me houses? And for the people who are showing me houses, are they the ones who are going to be looking up values and, and, right. and yeah. going over conditional questions and, mm -hmm. and location questions yeah, and, and understanding whatnot? Understanding that team right. model that you are going to be working with is very important. Right. Right? There should be a lot of upfront expectations that are set with who you're going to be working with. E exactly, right? You don't want to be, oh, well, yep, yep, I'm going to help you out. Let's, yep, we're going to get this done. We're going to find you the right home. A week later, by the way, <laughs> right. here's Jimmy. He's going to be showing you houses. <laughs> so, uh, we got to well, take care, everybody. Have a great week. Be safe. We'll be back next week. Good show. I didn't mean that as a bad thing, fresh out of college. But no, no. You know what I mean. <laughs> totally. Okay. Um, totally. There's, I mean, young agents start somewhere. have to start somewhere. That's yep. actually something that I'm looking to hire right now is strictly a showing partner right. and somebody that is – Young. Are you advertising this for our Facebook Live? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, looking, <laughs> looking for someone. You know, they have to get their real estate license. They will train under me. I will show them how to do the showings and everything. But, you know, it, it is some, it's a good foot in the door right. for them to learn the business and get the experience. Basically. Start your career. Exactly. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah, every, every agent has to start somewhere. And I personally agree. In 100% with the, an agent should be starting with a team to yep. build that knowledge level. It's the totally. biggest financial transaction. So you go out as an individual agent and just start trying to do real estate with zero experience. Oh. I can't imagine. Couple I can months. literally can't imagine doing that. Yeah. yeah. Right. You need, you need, well, and, and that's, it's just like throw, throw it to the fire, you right. know? And I know different companies have different training and right. models. Yep. I will say a lot of it. It's <laughs> there's a lot of gimmicks out there in that in some of those big company models. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but yeah, I think you know, I love those taking out a big company. <laughs> 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 no names. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, th I think I think the. I mean, I, I'm, I'm where you're at, right? Yep. You know, needing, needing uh, to have, get somebody to, to help a little bit more too. Um, it, you know, as, as uh, we do, we are getting busier. Right. I mean, it, real estate's crazy. Right. <laughs> I mean, my, where I'm at in real estate, it is not my highest and best use to be out showing properties on a daily basis. It is my highest and best use to be helping negotiate those properties. One hundred, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, you yeah. can you can sit there and provide more more research time and dedication right. yes. towards that. Right, provide a lot more value doing that. Yeah, I right. mean, it, it, it. I yeah, I, I spend more time researching homes than I do at the home. Right. 
you and know. Like the to dentist. You don't want the hygienist doing your exactly. root canal, maybe. Exactly. <laughs> you, know, you, want, you want the dentist in the back room yeah. to, to come up and do the root canal when, right. when the hygienist is ready. When the time is right. Right, yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of prep work that happens, and then out comes Mr. Out dentist. Out comes Mr. Mr. Dennis. Dennis. Right, yeah. Yep. yep. You know, I, I, I like the term, and this might sound cheesy. I don't know. I use one-stop shop a mm -hmm. lot and yeah. when I talk to people. You know, it's not all about me. I'm going to provide you a service, but I'm also going to connect you with people that right. are just like me or better to provide you that same service and level. that's very important, I think. Right. So. Yeah. yeah, I think, well, setting that, that, you know, who are the people you're going to be working with, that's just, that is important, yep. right? Yep. And it's fun, too, when you can have that type of service. You know, buying, buying real estate should be fun. Totally. Well, I mean, it, it allows me to, like, let's say let's say I do see a house that, that my client wants and we want to do something. You know, from the time they see it to the time that that offer is going out the door in cer certain circumstances, we're able to get that offer prepped, ready, out in an hour, two hours, mm -hmm. right? And you're talking 30 pages of stuff, right, right. Mm -hmm. that – that, you know, I see the property, look up the values, do that stuff, and then and then Don's writing the offer as I'm driving back to verify <laughs> numbers I've and got, whatnot. I've got right. one that is coming soon right now. It's going active on the market Friday. The first showing is at 415. We have that showing booked. Right. As soon as we get a few more photos uh, that are listed online, we're going to have a much better idea if we're going to write an offer. One of my agents is going to go show that property. Right. I'm going to have the offer already written if it does look like it's the one. And right. we're going to have a letter to those sellers letting them know that, hey, we wanted to be the first in the door because we knew this was going to be the right You property. camped out waiting for tickets. Seriously. And, <laughs> and while they are at the property touring it, if they give me the call and say, yes, this is the one, mm -hmm. we're going to submit that offer. Yep. Right. So we are literally going to be the first offer, yeah. the first showing. And it's a really good first move, in my opinion, that – we are we are there. We're ready to go. We wanted to make sure we knew it. You, you know? know, I had an agent one time. This is six seven years ago, um, and I've I've used this before uh, since since that. He says, "Kirk, we were the first ones in the door. We were the first ones to write the offer. So could you give us the courtesy of giving us a counter base, no matter what any mm -hmm. other offer is?" I like that. Yeah, I like that. And I'm like, you know what that. You know, okay. Yeah. You know what? You were first in the door. You yeah. were first to write the offer. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not give you the option? That's right. awesome. I, right? I <laughs> if you don't ask, you don't get. smart. Yeah. yeah. So collaboration. See, that's exactly. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week. You guys got anything else? Yeah, that's good. No? It was a great show. All right. Thanks, everybody. Find me a oh, no. <laughs>